We're inside hoop number five. This is the latest hoop that we built just this spring. We're still building a lot of the stuff that's inside, but as of now, it's about halfway done. This row in the center is what we're going to have the cucumbers in. We have 20 buckets down here, and each one's going to have four plants in it. So down at the end, buried in the ground, is a nutrient tank, and that's going to feed that row. The rest of the house is going to be the same as what's over here, which is all um, hydroponic tables. Lettuce and greens. We have these down here. This first crop that we got in was planted... How long ago was that planted? Uh, the first of the month. First of May? Okay, so they're, they're almost a month old. But they're pretty big already. If you can see the root system that they get as they grow into the nutrient, which is really cool. So we have a mix of different lettuces down in here. We have some romaines and butterheads. We have these here that we're doing a mix. Each one has three different colors. So we have a mix of lettuce in those. They're really pretty. Red and green butterheads. Down in here we tried to do arugula. That was new this year. I don't think we're going to continue that. That hasn't been growing so well. So we're probably going to change that out for something else because we have other things that have done really well. Like the bok choy. These bok choys are probably only three weeks old. And they've grown extremely well. Let's see on them. Yeah, you can see the root mass on them. They do really, really well in the hydroponics. Not everything does well in it, but they are definitely a crop that does excellent in the hydroponics. So we'll do more of that. Uh, watercress, that was also new this year. We had never done the watercress before, but it was recommended, of course, watercress will do good in the hydroponics, and it really does. It grew fast, a great crop, and we might even be able to just harvest it and let it regrow. We can probably get two uh, crops out of each planting, so we'll see how that does too, but that's new. Swiss chard, we've done that hydroponically before. Again, it does well like the bok choy. It grows really, really fast. So the Swiss chard does really well. And then as we get down here, these are younger and younger. So you see the lettuce is getting smaller and smaller. This is stuff each week we do another planting. Each week we seed another tray. So these are plantings that were the week after and the week after and the week after. Coming on around, they get smaller and smaller. And then we get to the little guys up here. These have only been in, this is probably two weeks ago, these were planted. Small bok choys. Again, probably planted about two weeks ago. Some Swiss chard and mustard two weeks ago. And then we get into last one week. week ago, last week's planting, some kale uh, and lettuces and a new crop of watercress that just went in. So these are the one week olds. So now we have fresh tanks in the row here. And that's what we have these trays going into. This is this week's trays. We have kale, oh, that kale's going into the ground. We have bok choy, Swiss chard, mustard greens, and then we have a full tray of all the assorted lettuces. Oh, there's more bok choys in there too. And that's all the lettuces for this week. So these are all gonna go into this these tanks now, which is really, really simple. We already have all the tanks are full, filled with water, nutrient solution, so they're ready to go. And all we have to do is literally put the plants in, let them grow, and that's it. Mm, lettuce is first, I guess. Also new this year, we're growing just the lettuce in these rock wool cubes as opposed to the um, pro mix, which this stuff is growing in. We have the lettuce we load up into a cooler when we go to market, and the peat moss, which the pro mix is made out of, ends up getting all over the lettuces. So it makes them look like they're a little dirty. So this year we switched to using these rock wools. Very small little cubes. They don't fall apart. They don't leave any residue on the lettuce. It keeps everything really clean get one out here. So just cut them apart and it's just a little cube. You see the lettuce already, a long root coming out the bottom. 
he's ready to go. But it's just a little cube. When the lettuce gets big, you'll hardly even see this. It'll mo mostly be the root mass of the plant itself. Nothing to get all over the lettuce and it won't make everything look dirty. And it's simply separating them, putting them into the tank. That's it. That's it. Fill it all up and we'll go on down the line, fill it with the lettuces and the greens at the end. And these will be harvested in four or five weeks? Four or five weeks, yeah. Four or five weeks. Five. These will get harvested. And there's nothing to do until then. So there's no weeding, nothing to feed. That's already done. There's enough nutrient in there to feed them for the, their entire life until they get picked. And then we keep this each week. Plant a tray and seed a tray. And eventually these tanks, these tables, will keep building more of them. And the other house, the other half of the house will get outfitted with those tables as well. I think that's about it. Right? Yeah, that's it. Okay.